Hello friends, welcome to 20 fingers 2 brains. In this video, we are going to show how to add a radio button to a grid view column and enable single selection in that column using JavaScript. So let's begin with our tutorial. In grid view examples, we have a page grid view example 9. On this ASPX page, we have drag dropped one grid view you from the data section here it is in this grid view first of all we move to the smart tag and then we can select edit template on the edit template we have added a radio button this radio button same radio button can be added from the toolbox and we have named this ID as RBTN user ID. So this is the column 0. If we move to the source of this grid view, we see that the ID is GV user detail auto generate columns equal to false. This will remove the extra columns which are not needed to be binded to the grid view. Data key name is user ID. And uh, in the column section, we have the template field, which we have added from the UI. The rest of the columns are binded using data bound field. And the data field is username, country and qualification. Now let's move to the table from where we are going to get this data. We have a table user details we have user id username email id phone number qualification and country in the grid view we have we are only binding three records username country and qualification now let's see how we are getting the data to bind this first of all we are getting the reading the connection string from the web config file as you can see the web config file is having a connection string and we have named this connection as my connection using the configuration manager to get this configuration manager we have to add system.configuration we are reading the connection string and on the page load method we have created a method bind grid view inside the bind grid view we are passing a query select star from user detail that query using the get data method we are establishing a connection with the database and using the sql connection sql data adapter we are filling this data table and then returning a data table that data table if it's having more than one record more than zero record we are binding it to the grid view so till now everything seems to be fine now on the radio button on the on click method we are calling a javascript function now what this javascript function is doing is we are passing this this refers to the radio button itself so we are getting the id of the radio button this parameter is get, getting passed as radio then we are getting the id for that individual radio button now what happens is suppose there are 20 records in those 20 records for every 20 records there will be a radio button so now we don't want now we want a single selection to happen for that radio button so what we are going to do is we are passing this we are keeping the id of that particular selected radio button and we are getting all the radio buttons which are there on the page and then we are looping through all the controls which are of type input when I say of type input that refers to checkbox or that can also refer to a text box so then in of from all the controls which are of type input we are getting we are fetching and we are checking only that type which is of type radio and the ID is not equal to this if the ID suppose the id of the first radio button is 1 and there are 20 radio buttons 
so what we are going to do is we are will uncheck the others we will only keep that radio button as checked so this is a simple javascript function and it will enable single radio button selection so let's put a breakpoint so as you can see we have put a breakpoint and that data table we are getting all the records so we have the first column which we have added from the template field the rest of the columns which we have added from the bound field and we have get the data all the 19 records which are there in the database so if we see this now let's click on this it's working perfectly it's binding a single selection of radio button so this was pretty simple tutorial for more videos you can subscribe our channel youtube.com/20fingers2brains also you can visit our blog 20fingers2brains.blogspot.com thank you so much